Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about some new information we got from the Pokemon Legends ZA trailer. Lumio City is going to be our stomping grounds in this game. It looks like it's only going to be in Lumio City. But the way the trailer portrayed the city and some of the things we're going to be doing in the game, it has led to people asking the question, will this game take place in the past, like Legends Arceus did, or will it take place in the future? Let's jump right into things. I think it's natural to assume that this game, since it is a Legends game, is going to take place in the past. Pokemon Legends Arceus, the only other game we have to go off of in this series, took place in Sinnoh's ancient past when it was called Hisui. It would be natural to assume that in Pokemon Legends ZA, we are going to be returning to an ancient version of Kalos. I do feel that it is probably the most likely outcome. Although some people have pointed to the fact that the trailer seemed to portray a wireframe, computerized looking version of Lumios City, but that could mean any number of things. It could be a hint about some of the themes of this game of moving from the past into the modern world, but that concept could be set in the past. Perhaps there was some tragedy, disaster, or war that befell Lumios City or Lumios Village, whatever Lumios is at this time, and it is now up to you and the people you meet in this story to expand and develop Lumios into what it eventually becomes in Pokemon X and Y in the modern region of Kalos. Entirely possible. It does seem that Lumio City is going to be an enormous location to explore. When you look at the map that they showed us in the trailer, you can just continue to zoom in more and more and see different streets, parks, sections of buildings, the area around Lumio's tower. It looks enormous. People have mapped onto it different areas that maybe could be their own little wild areas to explore in the game so you can catch all of your Pokemon. Because naturally, when you have a city setting, it does bring up some interesting questions about how you will go about catching Pokemon in their natural environment, raising them, bringing them to different locations, and just how Game Freak differentiates different landscapes from one another. When you're in a city setting, sometimes you do run the risk of everything looking very samey, buildings, streets, uh, low light motifs and darkness, rain kind of falling upon a neon lit city. Those are the kind of things you generally see in games taking place only in one location. If you've played the Spider-Man games, a lot of the streets and buildings all look pretty similar, and it's the stories of these individual characters, those vignettes, that make the story different and stand out in a variety of different ways. When you add Pokemon into a city like this, you do run the risk of, well, how many Pokemon can live in Lumios City at any given time? How large is this Pokedex going to be? Are there going to be grassy park areas where you can encounter different Pokemon in Lumios? Or is the city so underdeveloped that it is nestled in a natural lush environment and the city is sprawling out from it? It just depends on the state at which we find the city. That's why I feel that if the city is set in the past, it would serve the overall mechanics of a Pokemon game a little bit better because you are building something new, which means you have a world sitting there already that is working and being developed by the people who live there. We saw a little bit of this in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Jubilife Village grows and expands as you do side quests with some of the characters who live there. And as you play through the main story of Pokemon Legends Arceus, the people who are in charge of this village and protecting people from the wilds and the Pokemon that live there grow and change with their perspective of how the village should interact with the outside world and with the Pokemon that live there. You could take some of those inspirations and put them into how Lumio City develops here in whatever region this is called, because I have a strong feeling it will not be called Kalos in this game. They're going to give the region a different name, I feel, and that'll be fun to see. And hopefully, unlike with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, since we already have the name Kalos, for the part of the hype cycle where we don't have the name of the region, we don't have to refer to it as the French-based Pokemon region, as we did with Paldea, calling it the Spanish-based Pokemon region. We can call it Kalos until we get the official name. If it's in the past, it would make sense that we have that older name for Kalos, what people who were originally settling this area called it. But as we saw with the trailer, and as I talked about in my original reaction video to Pokemon Legends ZA, which I'll put a card in the corner right now here. If you want to check it out, go watch my full thoughts on it. I think that there are going to be some differences between Pokemon Legends Arceus 
and Legends ZA. I think it would be silly for anyone in the community to assume that we're going to get the exact same formula done over again. Like I said there, Legends is their playground. It is where they can experiment with different concepts, different pieces of how to tell a Pokemon story, how to tweak the gameplay minute to minute to make a new fresh experience. If anyone thinks that the gameplay is going to be the survival adventure game that Pokemon Legends Arceus was one for one, I think you're wrong. I think for one, there's going to be a building and development piece to this game that is different from anything we've ever seen in Pokemon before. In the trailer, they give us a line about the redevelopment plan for Lumios City. Something was there previously, and it is our goal with whatever we're doing in this game to move it and convert it to something new. If it's in the past, maybe we are making Lumios a more technologically advanced city, moving Lumios into the quote-unquote modern era of whatever period of time we are in in this game. That could be through the work of people and Pokemon building up this civilization together. Because I don't feel, like before, that just because it's said in the past, we're going to have a society that is scared of Pokemon the way that they were in Legends Arceus. That's Legends Arceus. That is its own self-contained story. That is a region that was vastly underexplored by the wider world of Pokemon. You had a couple different tribes living in Hisui, people that came up from the south where Johto and Kanto are, people coming over on boats at Jubilife Village. It's different. I think Kalos is going to be a much more established region when we get there. We have the 3,000 year old war, the ultimate weapon, and everything that happened with AZ in this region. There's going to be a vibrant, vast history that already exists in this region when us, the player character, comes here. It's not going to have anything to do with time travel, so even though it might be said in the past, I don't think our character is going to be someone from the present getting transported to the past. It's not going to be Dawn or Lucas getting ripped from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and put in Hisui. It's going to be a character that grows up in this time period and is experiencing the passage of time the way they naturally would. I think we're going to move Kalos closer into what we see in the modern games in 2013's X and Y. Mega Evolution will probably surely be a part of this. It's going to be a more ancient version of Mega Evolution. Perhaps we're going to be some of the first people to experiment with Mega Evolution. There's a lot they could do with that. They highlighted it in the teaser trailer. In a trailer where the only thing we saw was the urban redevelopment project, the project to revitalize Lumio City. And that was the heavy focus. The only other thing they had focus on was that Mega Stone at the end, and the tease that Mega Evolution is finally returning. So perhaps there is something to the origin of what modern ev Mega Evolution is for battles and for the community in Kalos. Perhaps that is something that starts here in Pokemon Legends ZA. Perhaps there is some tie to Zygarde and what AZ did with the ultimate weapon 3,000 years ago. I would expect you to have more modern technology in this game than you do in Legends Arceus, even if it's set in the past. We'll have Pokeballs, at least in my opinion. There's going to be a different swing on how they look at the world of Pokemon in this game, as opposed to what they did with Legends Arceus. Like I said before, I can see that building mechanic really coming into play. It might not be that they give us, you know, an in-game builder. I don't think it's going to necessarily be Minecraft or Dragon Quest builders, but in Pokemon. But perhaps the quests and different things that you do are going to contribute to the building out of Lumio City as it did in a small way in Arceus. It's something that they can iterate on with the next Legends game without having to take the Legends formula and say, just because it's set in the past of a previous region, we're going to do the exact same thing. They can change it slightly, they can make some alterations, and they can really frame it in a way that works with the history of Kalos that's already going to be there. Because I don't think this game takes place, you know, 4,000 years ago. You know, a thousand years before AZ and the ultimate weapon in the war. I don't think we're establishing a brand new region. That doesn't seem to be the place in time they're going to take us back to if this teaser trailer is going to tell us anything. But we'll see. I don't think it's set in the future. I don't think we're going to have like a Neo Pokemon Kalos. You could make an argument that perhaps that is what the redevelopment piece of the trailer is telling us, that we have Lumio City that we already know and love and it's evolving. It's possible, but if I had to place my bets on anything, I think it's going to be a slightly 
earlier game, not in the same timeline as Legends Arceus, but somewhere in the past. What do you guys think? Do you want Pokemon Legends ZA to be set in the past? or do you want it to be set in the future? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, get subscribed and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my future Pokemon Legends ZA content. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.